Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into the configuration section. So if you want to click uh, configuration from the admin menu and then click on company details. And a lot of this is may have done, but I'm just going to run it through with you. We may come across more things that are sort of business process related so it gives you a chance to see what the software is capable of uh, and the type of things you can have it do right out of the box without customizing so here's all pretty standard stuff your your name phone number and all that uh, this will actually be used throughout the system in certain places where it does display the name and phone number of the company um, the thing we do recommend on the company email is we do recommend that you set that to no reply at com, and then you set an autoresponder on that to automatic reply back you know we don't accept support by emails uh, please use our support ticket system uh, in the software so by doing that you'll prevent everybody from trying to reply to email blasts that the company does or reply to emails that go out as a result of using the FAQ system it'll just help to keep your support more efficient as you get going I'd be setting it as no reply at com so that any system generated email goes out with the, the very specific not able to reply to and if they do it just always redirects them back to the support system so nothing else in there is uh, really important straightforward stuff so let's click um, commission plan on your left hand menu under configuration so in this case we can just do some basic parameters within the commission plan and things related to commission it can be changed this isn't sort of setting up your whole commission plan this is just some general parameters to control positioning and then of course the developers will go and make your your actual commission plan as per the spec that we come up with so in this case we've set the commission plan to a matrix it could be a Japanese matrix unilevel um, direct and custom binary a whole bunch of different kinds of, of plans and we're saying that it's 10 wide by 4 deep and this will just control placement so if you just started signing up with automatic placement settings it'll sign 10 guys up on the front line and then put the 11th underneath the first one and then quantity of centers this is in a matrix is always one uh, commission plan inside placement we say no what inside placement means is are you going to allow your members to sponsor somebody on the inside leg of somebody else so critical in a binary not to allow this not as critical in a unilevel or a matrix to not allow this um, so we could have this as a yes or no uh, in a matrix I'd leave it to no for a now uh, commission plan auto place optimized uh, yes so this just means that as people are put in will it automatically put them in spot one then two then three then four then five or will it just put them in you know all down in one leg so with autoplays optimized it means that it'll put them in spot one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then automatically drop one underneath another and in fact that brings me back to the thought that we're going to change it to a Japanese matrix because it's more fair placement so what Japanese matrix means is rather than it going one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then underneath person number one enrolling the next ten it'll actually go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten across the top row and then on the second row it'll put one person in leg one one person in leg two one person in leg three and it'll fill more evenly giving all of the people you enrolled another person underneath them to get excited when you enroll more than ten so we'll leave that as Japanese matrix instead it's just a little bit more fair for what you're trying to do uh, should create a lot more excitement should you decide to confine and go with the matrix in the end percentage don't worry about activation for one two and three that's all binary related so no problem allow unfinancial placement so here's where we start to get into some some things that we have to be cautious about in the system allowing unfinancial placement means if the guy goes all the way through the process and his credit card fails you're still going to let him have his position and he will then come back and try to work out the payment my recommendation is that you should set this to no which means if they don't complete the transaction and pay for it their their sign up is rolled back and they're out of the system uh, allow customer placement again I would say no um, it's a matrix so you really don't want to have your customers in the matrix your, your customers would actually end up beside it um, half bankable full bankable doesn't matter we don't need that binary step value we don't need that these are all binary settings so down underneath we now have auto pay default setup so auto pay means are you gonna pay your members automatically every month our recommendation is absolutely not what that means is you're going to pay them yes but it's going to go into their personal account until they request it okay, so we're not just going to send them out a paycheck every month 
we're going to put it into their personal account until they request the funds. Of course, that allows them then to decide to go buy more from their personal account, use a gift certificate to sign their friend up from their personal account. So we highly recommend auto pay is set to no, but you do have to make sure you teach your people what's going on. Otherwise, they go, well, hey, where's my paycheck? Auto pay default threshold. So this is saying, okay, how much uh, before we trigger pay? Well, we're not doing auto pay, so this isn't going to matter. Uh, but if you were doing auto pay, then this would say auto pay everybody after they have 100 bucks. And it would also have the ability to have a remainder. So it says pay them after they have 100 bucks, but leave X number of dollars behind. And this would be used for um, having their auto ship covered possibly, or you might want to leave enough so they can sign their friend up. But this is just a bunch of configuration settings for the payment of the members area. So by setting it to no, none of these things matter, except for the bottom one where it says auto pay default auto ship. And this is saying that if they have enough money in their personal account, make sure that they pay their auto ship from their personal account before you charge their credit. So again, recommend it to be set as yes. Uh, money transfer setup. The system has the ability for members to transfer money from one person to the other. Uh, we also have the ability for you to limit how much they can before it needs approval. So we recommend on the admin daily money transfer limit, um, whatever number seems to make sense to you, whatever number you think is like, well, hang on, if the guy's transferring more than that around, you re re really want to have a say in it. So 500 is a, a normal default for us with it. It just means that if someone tries to transfer $500 to their friend, it's not going to go in real time. Admin's going to have to approve the transaction. Anything up to $500 will go automatically. Internal money transfer fee, so this means, okay, person A sends money to person B in the system. How much do you want to charge? We usually set that default to a dollar. If you want to charge nothing for it, it doesn't matter. It's all your money. This is just a way of making a company able to have a higher commission payout because you're pulling some of the money back with service fees here and there of the people using the system. So we default it to a dollar. You can set it to whatever you like. External money transfer fee, this is the fee that if you were actually doing a wire transfer payout, so if you enabled wire transfer pays in your, in your back office for a payment out of commissions, this is the service fee. Um, normally it's probably going to be higher than 15 because your bank's probably going to whack you at 30 or $40 anyways. So you just want to make sure that you would adjust this fee. Um, but why don't we set it to 45 bucks? Internal money transfer minimum. This is saying, what's the minimum amount you will want to allow person A to transfer to person B? You know, a dollar is normal. You don't smaller the transaction. If they're charging them a dollar, they have to transfer at least a dollar. They're going to have to pay a dollar to transfer a dollar. So usually it looks after itself by the service fee. But if you do want to, for some reason, restrict the minimum that they're bouncing around, you can. External money transfer minimum, same concept. What's the minimum you want to allow them to wire transfer to themselves? I actually recommend that for a wire transfer you put that at about a hundred bucks. Uh, down at the bottom you'll see commission percentage setup. Let's click on that. So here's just a place where we actually, as our commission plan guy sets up your program, if you are a simple matrix, he will actually populate this table for you. Which means technically you can see what's going on. Um, you can even update uh, certain parts of this. Um, not usually recommended. It's here, but usually it's better that if you're going to be making changes, you go through us just so we can make sure that your change isn't going to be detrimental to your company. Uh, so let's close window on that one. It takes us back, and then let's look at title rank setup. Okay, so title rank setup, here's where you actually can control the title. This is a live area, and you can update the descriptions. So again, we normally set this for you. But one of the things that you should be thinking about is what kind of titles and ranks would really fit the flavor of what you're doing. To come up with some ranks and titles that sort of are specific to your industry can really add some flavor to what you're doing. So instead of them saying, you know, director, director, regional director, well, what does that mean? So you might want to put your, your creative hats on and say, hey, what do we want our ranks and titles to be? And this is just a section where you could actually control. Okay, so let's close the window on that. Okay, so that's enough for that section there. So now let's click the one below it on the left-hand menu called System Defaults. 